Hey everyone, welcome back. In our last video, we have looked into how the KNN algorithm works and how equilibrium distance is uh, a key uh, step. Finding the equilibrium distance is the key step uh, for the KNN algorithm. Okay, so let's get to know a bit more about equilibrium distance, and then we are going to know about the difference, uh, different distance uh, functions that we can apply on our KNN algorithm. Okay, so equilibrium distance is used to find uh, the distance between two points. So uh, let's say this is my graph and in this graph I have a point over here. So this is one of my points. Mark it. So this is one of my points and this is one of my points. So uh, the formula for this will be we are going to uh, do the subtraction of y uh, y22 minus y21 square plus x22 minus x1 square. So this is uh, the downward side. Okay. This one is uh, x22 minus x21 and y22 minus y21. And we know uh, from the fact okay, that h square equals to p square, the h square equals to p square plus b square. So this is the hypotenuse. For the right angle triangle, this is the hypotenuse. And uh, this is the perpendicular and this is the base. Okay, so h square equals to p square plus b square. Let me write it. You know, h square equals to p square plus b square. So, h is something that we have to find, and we know our perpendicular is okay, y22 minus y21 square plus base is x22 minus x21 square. Now, here as we have an h square, so if you transfer h to the right hand side, we will be having a square root. Inside of this, we will be having y22 minus y21 square plus x22 minus x21 square. Okay, this gives me the hypotenuse which uh, just gives me the distance between the two points. Okay, and here's the formula. If you just remove out the j points, okay, so x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square is equal to the distance, the equilibrium distance between two data points. Okay, here is one data point. Here is one more example. Here is one data point. Here is one more data point. And here we have x2 minus x1 as the base and y2 minus y1 as the base. So this is a right angle triangle. Okay, this is a right, an right angle triangle. And in a right angle triangle, we know that we have this s square equals to p square plus b square. So if we have this, then we can easily uh, get out this point. Okay, that is the hypotenuse. We can get the hypotenuse. Now that we have known about equilibrium distance, let's look into the other different uh, distance functions that we can apply on KNN algorithm. So here are the three functions that we can apply, uh, distance functions that we can apply on KNN. So we have known about, already known about the equilibrium distance. It is calculated as the square root of the sum of the difference between the new point x and an existing point xi across all the input variable attributes here. In a nutshell, it's just the difference of the sum. Okay. Square difference of the sum. Then we have the Manhattan distance. Manhattan distance is something which the formula looks like this. So calculate the distance between real vectors using the sum of their absolute difference. Okay, this is known as city block distance. And Google Maps uh, probably use Manhattan distance to calculate uh, distance points um, between uh, uh, different aspects of their map. Okay, so this is Manhattan distance, how the Manhattan distance formula looks like. And at the end, we have the Minkowski distance. It is the uh, generalization between the equilibrium distance and the Manhattan distance. These are the three points, uh, three distance functions that we can apply on KNN algorithm. And feel free to uh, try it out with all of them. But as of now, equilibrium distance is one of the best starting point and most of the time it does the work uh, done. Let's look into an empty data set. This is my empty data set from the previous slides, if you could recall from the first video. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the KNN algorithm. So what was my KNN algorithm? Let's recall one by one. 
तो द फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉज टू सिलेक्ट के सिलेक्ट के सो By default, let's select k equals to k equals to uh, let's take three or uh, yeah let's take three okay by default let's take three okay but uh, uh, in scikit learn the default value is k equals to five okay just remember but as of now for this program we are going to take k equals to three now what i am going to do over here is the next point is calculate the equilibrium distance of k number of neighbors so i am going to find out the from this data points the equilibrium distance between all the points that is nearby all the points that i have nearby okay i will find this one this one this one this one okay this one this one okay i will find all the distance okay all the equilibrium distance between all the data points that i have after this what i will do is i will take this was step 1 step 2 was find euclid distance okay now the third thing is to take the k nearest neighbor as per uh, the calculated equilibrium distance okay now that i have my equilibrium distance i am able to predict out what are my three nearest neighbor so my three nearest neighbor let me rub all of these so my three nearest neighbor after applying getting out the equilibrium distance from my new data point to all the other data points i can say that this is my new data point uh, nearest neighbor this is my nearest neighbor and this is my nearest neighbor fine nearest neighbor now the fourth point is now that we know all my three neighbors now what i am going to do is i am going to count okay that how many uh, points we have and to which category it belongs to so we can say the blue okay uh, let's uh, just write the representative among this k neighbors count the number of data points okay count the number of data points okay or uh, to which category it belongs to so we can say that the blue category for the uh, blue category okay for the blue box color it out it belongs to 2 okay we have 2 and for the brown category and color it it belongs to 1 okay now the na last step is assign the new data point that is new what data point we had before this was a new data point assign the new data points to that category for which the number of neighbors is maximum so can you know uh, can you tell me uh, which data point is the maximum okay the number of neighbors is maximum for which data point any guesses so it is for the blue one so this is the clear winner between two uh, between these two because two uh, is greater than two is greater than one so blue prevails okay so my new data point belongs to the uh, blue category that is category 1 so if i assign it now it will be okay this will be blue the last step is uh uh our model is finished and this new data point will become blue okay so we just change the color this will be become blue okay and we can say that our new data point new data point uh belongs to belongs to category category 1 category 1 so that's how the k nearest neighbor algorithm works now in our next video we are going to look into some of the ways by which we can find out uh, the value of k okay so let's catch up in our next video